Ariana, your tarot life coach. And I just wanted to tell you guys, hello, big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. I hope November will treat you wonderfully. Also, be on the lookout. I will be posting these videos in sections. So if they're not posted immediately, just know that they are coming. Another update, you'll be receiving 2018 posted videos um, for your view, just to kind of look at what's the energy coming in for you next year. And if you're interested in purchasing those, feel free to hit me up at arianaluciano at gmail.com. Another little tidbit that's coming out is... Boom, boom, boom. A lot of people ask, what is it like to get a read from you? I'm like, well, it's like having coffee or a shot of vodka with your best friend. That's what it's like. <laughs> and I'm not going to go and tell your business. Anyways, we look at the energy that's surrounding you and then we talk about how to move forward. So that's what you get when you come to me. And that's it's more like a conversation as we look at this together and we co-create and we explore these things and we enjoy each other's company. So with that being said, I also wanted to tell you I drew a card for us for a collective for the month of think for the month of Thanksgiving for the month of November and I pulled intimacy. Intimacy is not just in the bedroom, my friends. This is like real, real intimacy. Being able to give and being able to receive, being open to what the universe is offering you, but also being open, open to giving back to the universe. So with that being said, love every part of yourself, even the parts that you find hard to love, because you're setting the standard for others to love you just as deeply. All right. So in this month, honor yourself and honor the relationships that you are in so that you will have a wonderful and wonderful blessed month and be open to receiving the new things that are coming to you. If you celebrate Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving, fam. Be blessed. And as always, stay in touch. Love you. Hello, Aquarius. It's Ariana, your tarot life coach, bringing you your November tarot scope. Big baby, I hope you guys are doing super fantabulous and wonderfully, wonderfully great. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. How you doing, my intuitive people? I hope all is well. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining and giving us an opportunity to share with you. So, thank you for all your well wishes, all your likes, your shares, and your subscribes, guys. I really, really appreciate you. Let's talk a little bit about the heavens, okay? What is going on upstairs, all right? And by no means, guys, am I an astrologer, okay? I just read a lot and study a lot just to kind of get to know if I'm the one who's crazy or the universe is at hand. <laughs> Sometimes it's me, I'll admit. Anyways, with that being said, this read is for Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising, all right? So, on November 4th, we have the full moon in Taurus. Are you ready? Are you ready to get illuminated? And on November 11th, it is the third time in the last 12 months that Saturn in Saggy trines Uranus in Aries, okay? The first time was in December 2016, and the second was on May 2017. Now, the, what does that mean? So it's like tradition and novelty. They're like going hand in hand and they're going to help you solve your problems. On November 18th, we got the new moon in Scorpio. Whoa-oh. <laughs> November 22nd, Neptune is going directamente into Pisces after five months of being in reverse. Okay. So we will be able to see clearly and differentiate between reality and fantasy. Okay. And also on the 22nd, the sun enters Saggy. So Aquarius, what do we have going on? What is the energy for us this month? So we have a mind, body, soul, but the animal totem or the anim your power animal is telling you open your eyes and see things for what they truly are. This is no other than Foxy Loxy, baby, looking just oh so cute and observant, okay? Extremely observant. Now, the fox is very loyal, but it's time for you to develop. It's time for you to go from student to teacher. But this energy is guiding you through some obstacles. You've got to be quick on your feet, very adaptable. See through the deception, baby. See through the things that are trying to trick you. This is about being clever. Also being camouflaged, shape-shifting, getting in the background, okay? 
and outsmarting with courage and being cunning. You got to be quick and agile with the fox. OK, so that's the kind of energy you're going to need this month. I kind of get the sense of urgency because you got the fox and he's really quick. You got these two horses and they're running towards you. And then you have this cheetah over here and it's I got a glare. There we go. This cheetah over here and, and he's going super, super fast. So I'm going to tell you, it's about movement. This is about being quick. Some of y'all might be experiencing moves. Some of y'all might be shaking things up. You're dealing with dualities along the way. Now, mentally, what came out for you was the spirit of water. So with that being said, trust your intuition. Know that you're on the right path. I think you're going through a lot of changes, Aquarius. And it's like, you're like, what the hell is going on? But you've got to trust that you're in the right place at the right time. Don't hold your emotions back. Trust the downloads that you're getting. Cleanse and purify your home. Healing is coming. Emotional healing is expanding inside of you. It's almost like salt water baths might do you well just because of the way that ocean is looking and the waves are coming in. And it's about clearing your energy also. Embrace things with childlike wonder. I almost feel like it's about running free. Freedom is very important for you. That's actually what's physically coming in for you. It's about being free and being you. But yes, clean up, okay? Clean up your home, clean up your work, clean up your body, clean up your dusty aura. Whatever it is, it's just time to clean it up, all right? Now, physically, we are using the Sacred Power Deck by Anna Stark, one of my faves. Um, it's coming through for you, and it's freedom. Freedom! Yes, it's time to break free from the change, baby. It's time for you to blare some Wilson Phillips, roll down the windows, or drop the drop top, let the air hit your hair, if you got hair, and if not, put yourself a little scarf on so you can feel something flying in the air. And just enjoy being you. Enjoy being every essence that you have. And this is about taking control of your own life. It's time for you to take control. And I, I think you're having this doubt like, am I doing the right thing? Am I at the right place at the right time? Because this is the second time as I look in the notes, it's like everything in your life right now is completely within your power to change. Okay, I feel like you're on the right track. I feel like you're going the right way. And the fox is very observant. Remember, he's very clever. So he's going to lead you through the maze, through this emotional turmoil. But this is about new directions, personal journeys. Now, she describes the white horse as bringing truth and honor and integrity. And the dark horse bringing the shadow of mystery, pride, and illusions. But when you put them together, you get the yin and the yang, which balance allows you to understand what is really preventing the freedom. Okay? Follow through with all your agreements and commitments this month, okay? Check out your surroundings and discover what you really want. Right now, your soul is truly desiring freedom. OK, the horse is telling you, man, you need to simplify, simplify, simplify. And that's probably why the spirit of water is telling you clean house. OK, get more information before you make future decisions. And this is an important time for growth and freedom. OK, have the you have the power to change that. And it's like very clear that you are the one in control. Remember that the fox is a shapeshifter. By meaning that you can become and you can do anything and everything you want to do. Now, we got going the distance, going for speed. I love that song. However, I forgot who else got this. Okay, and I'm shooting this on the 24th. It's like Tuesday night. Okay, it's the 25th. Damn it, it's 12, 15 and, and the next day. Well, damn dirty. I done been working all day and night. <laughs> so we're going the distance, but in reverse. And in this deck, when it's reversed, that's basically saying, sweetie, protection, protection, protection. Okay, so what I'm picking up immediately, this is like a destiny thing that you're going through, a soul level contract with somebody. If you believe in twin flames, if you believe in that kind of thing, um, I believe it's a soul contract with somebody because the four and the seven together make an 11, which comes to a partnership, which is a sacred number of the 11. And then I have like a little twin horses right here. And I'm just getting a vibe that this is possibly about a relationship or friendship, some kind of partnership, but it's supposed to happen and you're in the right place at the right time. Okay. 
Now, it's asking you, even though you've been going through this crazy journey of yours, okay? Because this cheetah's just running mindlessly in the desert. It's hot. It needs some help. It's thirsty, okay? But it's telling you to be wise and selective about where you're putting your energy. Listen to the call of your soul because it will never lead you astray. This is an important time of letting go of what's not important, which is what the spirit of water is telling you and which is what the horses are telling you with freedom. It's just time to break free from the chains, okay? Whatever is holding you back, remember that I said someday somebody's going to make you want to turn around and say goodbye. There is a point in, the, in your life, there is something that you are ready to say goodbye to whether it be a person a place and an identity a role that you have you're just ready to break free you're ready to try something new so that is your overall mind body and soul that's coming in for you guys all right this video may be a little bit longer I have a shocker a little shocker guide at the end and um, of course your um, crystal now y'all already know I pre shuffled the deck right because if not we're gonna be here for 45 minutes shuffling um, However, let's bless the deck together. Thanks to Till bless this deck and show us the energy that we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of no November. Give us clear and concise messages and guidance for this month. And we are ready, rolling a four immediately. This is going to be a foundational thing, something in the home, something that you're dealing with. So we have the two of pentacles with the eight of pentacles reversed, or as they are known in this deck, which is the Babylonian Tarot by Sandra Tabitha Cicero. We are trying to balance. You see how these dualities are coming out for you? We're trying to balance. We're trying to change. But we need to be open to learning new skills because these are two astrologers that are looking up into the heavens to get the answer. My thing is, what are you looking into? Who are you trying to partner with? Or who are you not trying to partner with? Because I think the partnership is important. Here you see one person looking and the other person writing. And then this is two people right here, or two aliens, okay? However, there's two on each card this is about a relationship a duality whatever you want to use the two for but this is also coming to a beginning because the two plus the eight equals ten which is the ending but if we put the one plus the zero it becomes a one so this ending is yielding a new beginning and it's depending on the perspective that you have and I'm getting perspective by the way the Fox is looking at it it's trying to decipher do I want to move forward or do I want to stay all right, let's see what's going on, Aquarian. All right, cars don't want to shuffle. I think, I think they've been worked a little too hard. I've just got off the phone with a, a personal read. I've made like three personal videos, and I thought I'd slip one of these bad boys in for you guys so I can at least post something <laughs> tomorrow. Well, today, today, I swear, today. Show us the energy that is going on. All right, we got see what's going on okay 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 that little noise you're hearing is my dice if you hear me talk to myself i'm talking to um i'm talking to the dice or i'm talking to the um crystal or i'm talking to myself it's not the crystal it's my pendulum okay i keep getting like there must be a lot of energy going on for you guys there it goes it's the four again Whew. oh i'm getting hungry i need to go to sleep <laughs> it's like 12 <laughs> It's 12.20 and I want to eat a snack. I really want to eat some food. First position, we have the carob of arrows coming through. And this is here in your past. I'm trying to get a little bit closer. I don't know if there's a glare or not. Okay. Temperance. The seven of cups reversed. The sun. There's some babies. Two of wands reversed. Overall energy is the Six of Pentacles, and I kind of feel like it's coming from the King of Pentacles because it's right behind him. Behind the King of Pentacles is the Five of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles, Five of Cups reversed, and there's a Queen reversed too, but I'm going to stop right there. However, like I do on my other videos, there is an Aquarian out there who is dealing with receiving assistance because of a financial or a work situation. They thought that was a bust. However, the Queen of Wands is... She's pretty upset. She's not really talking to you right now because it's the eight of wands reversed. And um, this situation is going to come out okay, all right? This king of disc is going to come to the rescue. However, I feel like there are some strings attached in some sort of way. Now, immediately, we have this carob coming in from the past who is bringing in information, telling you to love yourself unconditionally, and you refuse to do it. You refuse to listen to what he has to say. 
And I want to see which deck it wants to come from. Where is the message trying to come from? Where's that other deck? Is it this one? Okay, the Wisdom of the Oracle. All right, guys. So this carob, or if you want to think of it as an angel, has been trying to bring you a message that you're just like refusing to want to hear. And this was in the past. Okay? And the past can be anywhere from yesterday, 10 minutes ago, 3 months ago. Okay? However you want to look at it. Everybody is in different phases of their life. Show me the energy. There we go. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Is it this card? Mm -mm. Could it be reversed? Mm, no. Okay. So all that glitters is coming out. So you saw some real shiny, some real pretty, some that you thought you really wanted, and your guide was like, "Hey, you know, looks can be deceiving. You better check it out a little bit more. Make sure that's what you want. Make sure that you really want that." And you went ahead and went for it. Okay. Even though it probably wasn't going to work for you as well as you thought it was, but you went for it, okay? And that's what all that glitters is. It's just like something was like covered in, in glitter and stardust and like all this wonderful good stuff. And it might have worked for your neighbor, but it didn't work for you. That kind of energy. However, what it wants you to pay attention to is when it comes up like this, sometimes we try to become something we're not to impress others. Either that happened in a relationship or we tried some, some kind of an opportunity that we thought was too good to be true and it actually was. So now in the present, we're trying to find balance. We're trying to figure out what's going on. And I have a lot of fire energy coming in for you. So it could have been Sagittarian energy. However, in the present, we're trying to get grounded. We're trying to get balanced because the hidden influence is the Seven of Cups. This Seven of Cups energy that's coming in for you, this is like temptation. This is indecisiveness. And damn it to hell, you're making a decision now because you're like, F it. I don't want none of these damn dirty cups any damn way. I'm going to use my intuition and my courage because you have the lion and the owl. Okay. Get you a little bit closer. Now, with that being said, if you think about the seven of cups, I'm going to clarify it. All right. I can't. <laughs> the seven of cups has left to some financial issues for some of y'all and, and your guide is going to help you through it. So you've had two spirit guides that are really trying to talk to you and this is going to be more about finances. So you've been financially crunched for a while. Okay. That or you've been running your mouth a little bit too much and they got you quiet. Okay. Shh. Don't say too much. Okay. That's exactly what your, your guide is going to tell you. It's like, Hey, Hey, Hey. Don't say too much. I want to see what the Seven of Cups reversed has for you. I don't know if anybody's dealing with a, a water sign, but this King of Cups keeps trying to pop out. I'm like, hold up, man. It's not your turn yet. <laughs> All right. So I'm pulling out this Three of Cups situation. So overabundance. This is also a baby because the Three of Cups right by the sun. And then I have the moon for nine months right here. So yes, Aquarius, you have been getting baby energy for a while. So either you're about to pop or you just got pregnant. One of the two. However, the seven of cups reversed with the three of cups upright is a highly emotional situation. So we've come to a decision because there's overabundance. We've overindulged and we know that we need to make a choice. We need to make a decision. And what is that decision? What is the advice? The advice is to go. The advice is to move to the next thing, to move on, to leave those things in the past. And whatever it is, it's going to be a yes, okay? Because we got the sun. What I find interesting is the sun and the moon. And we're dealing with dualities. Remember the horse in the beginning? And he's on the horse, sun and the moon, dark and uh, the white and the, and the black horse, or they called it the dark horse. Please, I'm not trying to make it a racial thing. It's the yin and the yang sign, okay? Please don't, please don't email me with mean stuff because I'm not like that, y'all. Sometimes you... We get so wrapped up in being PC that we can't even have a conversation. I'm sorry. Now, I really strongly feel this with the sun and the moon energy. 
that's how you're going to harness that balance because you have a really tough decision to make at the end uh close to the end of this month that you're going to be looking at this crossroads because somebody is kind of trying to take your power they're trying to be overly bearing on you making you make a decision that you really aren't really ready for because i think for some of y'all it is a financial decision and for others it is a um emotional decision and the reason why is because i have all these cups over here and then I have all these discs over here. It's just one of those things that it's either for love or for money, okay? Now, I want to see if the sun has a message for you. But I feel like it's from that. I knew it. So it's coming from the sacred animal deck or it's from the power animal deck. I just feel like, woo, sorry. I think it's this one. Saying yes, let's see, let's make sure. Yeah, <laughs> I knew it. Okay, so elk is coming out for you. I almost feel like you're getting similar cards to somebody else, and I don't remember who it is. Elk is coming through, and it's time for you to take a stand. It's time for you to maintain your dignity no matter what. And if you see him riding that horse, he's like all eyes on me, okay? Look at me. Look at my greatness. It's my time to shine. Pay attention to me. It's me, me, me. And the elk is telling you, yes, no matter what others will, will do, just let them do you. And they're going to treat you with the respect that you deserve. Elk is also about standing tall. I always like, every time I say elk, I'm so glad y'all can't see me. It's like I put my boobies on a shelf. Like, I'm super excited. Um, I was a dancer for a long time. For like, a long time. For like, high school and college. And um, they used to tell us, put your boobies on a shelf. Because we were a, a drill team, you know. And so... I got really used to like when I would stand like to put my boobies on a shelf and whenever I say elk I put my boobies on a shelf because I'm special I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, this is like you're going to get it says oh the slings and arrows. All the bullshit people are throwing at you like all those painful words all that crap that they're talking and it's telling you stand strong don't back down don't worry about it this is about stamina power courageousness and confidence you're going to need confidence because somebody's trying to take it okay somebody is trying to come to this point where they're like you make your decision now or what what are you gonna do okay sorry my baby called. <laughs> so yeah, so it's about you standing tall. And I think I said this in the last video. I see those antlers and I think about algae. There's three people involved. There's a situation, whether it's in love or in money. And you've got to stand your ground. You've got to be courageous because whoever's trying to take your thunder or they tried to sell you a dream, it's like you're going to need a little bit more of a an approach where you set your presence set your presence let it be known you you are you are the elk you are you, i don't even know how to explain it you're better than what they're 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 freaking showing you sorry sorry aquarius yes i am said the f word on, again um how do i put it so in the past it was all that glitters so it's like ah uh, something looked better than what it really was either it's someone you were up against or whatever but now you're grounded you got it together and you're like look man look at me and let's make a let's make a better decision okay we have to make a better decision don't have your eyes closed because when it's the two of wands reverse it's like we don't want to see all the options we don't want to see things for what they are because we want to just like blindly go into it and when this comes up in a love reading reverse for me it's somebody who's trying to like overpower you or you're just looking for love in all the wrong places and you need to you need to go on ahead and go so towards the end of the month what you're going to notice is that someone is trying to take something from you all right but you have the magician's wand so it's highly important that you, um, sorry, I had to set my timer again, that you take your wand and you use it. So I want to see if we can, what deck would tell us how to regain this control? Is it from here? Okay, it's telling me from here. I gotta hurry, guys. I'm running out of time. Aquarius 
we got to figure out now where are we going to get that message. So look at that. Look at the bodies of these two animals, okay? We have the elk, and then we have this carob. This carob is the one who brings manifestation. I really strongly feel that if you use elk medicine and you stand tall, that, you're, that your angel, your guide, well, however you want to look at it, he's about to step in and wreck shop, okay? Meerkat, because... He has got your back, okay? It says, get a trusted group of people and like-minded friends. Stop associating with the dusty aura people. That's what I like to call them. You're dusty. You're making me feel dirty. You need to take that negative energy somewhere else. So what I like about this card, it's like people in your life would love to offer support to you. And they're coming. Because look right here, they're coming. And it's an earth sign. I'm telling you, okay? Now, people who are dealing with illnesses, have the support of friends and family members, usually fare better. So you're in a situation that you need to figure out who's going to help you and who's going to be like the best help. And it recommends writing down a list of the names of people you trust the most and then go back through it and identify three traits in each of these individuals that make you trust them. When you're finished, you'll not only have a good idea of the qualities in those you rely on, but also a clear notion of the characteristics that make a person trustworthy in your eyes. And that's what's important. Look at Meerkat. He's looking at some people like, what the hell? Look how he, he's like, mm mm. No, mm mm. You can't roll with my group. Meer, have y'all ever seen a special on Meerkats? And this is about family, community, group support, communication, protectiveness, and vigilance. You need to be very aware and you need to put them antlers to work because there's going to be two options. One person who's going to want to come in and take control and control you and the other person who's going to offer the assistance and be the king that he needs to be. Okay. Without strings attached, without anything else. Does the king need to be clarified? No, you're going to know exactly who he is. He's strong. He's caring. He's kind. He's loyal. And he's, he's all the things that you think about this meerkat that I told you to list, okay, that the book told you to list. I just read it, okay? Um, I can't take credit where it's not due. That list that you're, you're going to kind of, even if you just compile it in your head really quick, that's exactly who he is and that's who you're going to go to or that's who's going to be coming through for you. So that is your read for, I'm looking at the numbers real quick, guys, making sure I'm not leaving anything out. I think we had... Mm, no, nothing important like that. Two carobs that showed up for me. It's like you are going to be extra protected this month. Okay. Listen to your guides. Meditate, meditate, meditate. Now, as I said, I did a chakra read. And what was coming up for you is the chakra on jaw, which is your no, is your third eye or your brow chakra, okay? With that being said, guys, it's very important that you work with this energy. This is your third eye, and I said perceive, and I'm looking at these notes, and that's the word. Perceive, perception, and it's all about being connected, okay? So, your third eye chakra is in balance when you're intuitive, perceptive, imaginative, and insightful. And you're, you seek the truth. You trust the guidance of the divine. So at the beginning of the month or in the past, you weren't trusting that divine guidance. But by the end, baby, you're going to get it together. You're going to be having dreams and visions. And you're not going to be afraid to connect to other realms. You're not going to be afraid when you go into a meditation and they show you something. You're like, hold the hell up. That's crazy. But it's good. You know, it's that kind of energy. When it's overstimulated, it can manifest with nightmares, reoccurring dreams. You live in a fantasy world. It's that seven of cups upright. But now we're at the seven of cups reversed, okay? You also can't focus on anything. So if that happens, if you, you have to deal with your solar plexus. You see that yellow little moon right there? So you got to work with your solar plexus, work with the yellow crystals, eat more yellow foods. Um... Also, try making a vision board to get your focus back together, okay? Now, um, that's if it's understimulated. No, it's overstimulated. Good Lord, I'm all confused. Hold on. Overstimulated. That's when it's overstimulated. You're going to go work with the yellow because it's the reversal, okay? What I just said, if you're having trouble focusing, it's because you're overstimulated. You need to calm your chakra down so you connect with the, with the solar plexus. 
wearing yellow clothes, eating yellow food. I need to go to sleep is what I need to do. Making you that vision board, okay? Now, when it's under-stimulated, you don't have any vision. You don't want to see. Your lack of imagination. You need to wear more indigo, okay? You need to eat more indigo foods. Connect with the indigo crystals. Look at the clouds and cloud gates. Try meditations to build the visualizations. Trusting the visions that you're receiving. Now, how you're going to work with that energy is going to be waxing moon and meditation so I kind of feel like it's time for you to meditate and breathe in new energy into what's coming in for you now also what I found interesting is that with your Anja angel assistance was what wanted to come through for you and this is like if you've been praying like seriously praying you are connecting so depending on what color you're more drawn to I'm gonna give indigo first um, just because that's what the, the um, chakra is that we're working with. It's Archangel Zarakiel, okay? So universal magic, intuition, and manifestation. Now, if you're looking at this card and you start noticing you're drawn to other colors, green is Archangel Raphael, pink is Kamael, blue is Michael, red is Uriel, white is Gabriel, orange is Haniel, yellow is Jophiel, and black is Azrael, okay? So depending on where you're looking and what color you're looking, it's going to tell you what you're really searching for and who to meditate with. All right. I'm going to recommend Zarakel for you just because it goes with the indigo, which is tied to the third eye. OK, also your sacred sights card came out and this is about motivation. It's located in the east with Mount Fuji. OK, what do you where do you practice to quieten your life? Does your soul cry out for peace, harmony, and nature? You know, I saw this thing about people who tree bathing in Japan where they go just sit by trees and it helps calm their nerves. Blood pressure goes down. There's something about being in nature that needs to be done more often and we lose that, okay? Now, it also says that you have a need for um, some self-cultivation through meditation and it helps you to allow negative thoughts and feelings to get away, okay? Now, in the present, it says, let it inspire you to think outside the box. It's time for you to think outside the box and seek to share your spiritual power. So you have gifts, Aquarius. Don't be afraid to use them. Your potential. Has your light been extinguished by someone else's negativity or need to control? Yes, it has with the two of wands reversed. This is telling you the same thing the elk is telling you. Shine brightly for all to see, okay? So come out of your cave and radiate your love with wisdom and beauty to the world. Don't be afraid to show what you got, baby, because they wanted to go with something that looks shinier, but it was really dusty and you're the one who's got the answers. Don't be afraid to be out there in the open because you deserve it, Aquarius. Now, your stone is you. Unikite, and it's about decisions, expressing, and releasing. The three key materials of the stone combine to enhance its role to uncovering what holds us, dissolving the blocks, and raising our self esteem. Now, listen, Uconite helps to open and clear the solar plexus chakra, Mani Pura, which stores our emotions. Okay. Used with yogic, breath yogic breathing, it enables us to identify and release past trauma. It's not going to work super, super fast, so it, it's really a peaceful stone. It also helps with your heart, your circulatory system, and it helps with pregnancy, okay? So some of y'all really are going to have a baby, all right? Drawing this card indicates that what is underlining the situation will soon be revealed, and that's why Anja is coming through. Once the cause is recognized, release and healing will begin. You have to be ready. You have to be in that meditative state in your third eye, baby. That sucker's going to blow open if you're ready, all righty? So with that being said, Aquarius big big hugs lots and lots of love have a blessed November and if you're interested in a personal or private read hit me up at Ariana Luciano at gmail.com or on the gram at Ariana Luciano don't forget I will be posting year in reviews pretty soon so um, if you're interested in purchasing one of those also hit me up with an email and I will let you know how the process goes all right guys big big hugs lots and lots of love and be blessed